So you've started learning French, but you're having a few difficulties here and there and struggling with the accent and motivation. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a few of my own personal tips and tricks to make your language learning journey easier and for you to reach your long-term goals. C'est parti! First, we're gonna talk about accent and pronunciation. One of the most difficult things to master when learning French is the accent. We all know that the French accent is particularly tricky, so let's try and break it down. Something that was really helpful for me is to remember that the French language is a language that is spoken with the mouth fairly closed. Without going into the science of phonetics and linguistics, it's likely that if you're an Anglophone, you speak with your mouth in a fairly more open posture. This is the complete opposite in French. This might seem a bit weird, but if you've ever observed the mouth movements of a Francophone when speaking French, you'll notice that they're a lot more subtle and less exaggerated compared to when I speak, for example. If you can master this, you can in turn master some of the most tricky sounds in French, including that pesky U sound. The U sound was something that I personally really struggled with, and this really helped me to understand it better. The U sound is found in tu, for example, you. If I said this word with an English accent, notice how my mouth is far more agape, tu. In French, however, it's a much rounder and smaller sound with the lips closer together, tu. Tchou. Practice it for yourself and see. You've probably also noticed the complexity of the French R sound, which, if it doesn't exist in your language, can be very difficult to master. Again, let's strip the sound back to its very basics. I like to think of the French R sound almost as like a growl or a sound that you make when you're kind of frustrated. For example, in English, we often say ugh when we're annoyed about something. And guess what? It's practically the same sound. If you can think of the French R as an individual unit of sound like that, then you can just add a big sigh sound when you know you've got to pronounce something with the R in it. Let's try some of those R sounds together. How would we say this? Alors. Alors. This one. Pour. Pour. And this one. Double R sound. Frère. Frère. Parfait. Let's move on. Next, I want to talk about how to learn in a more structured and organised way. At some point or another, you've probably had to do a lot of memorising of French vocabulary or French verbs. This can be monotonous and cause you to lose perseverance. I found that by structuring and organising your memorising more efficiently, you're much more likely to achieve a favourable result at the end. For example, it's really important to be purposeful with your memorisation rather than just rote learning. And you can do this by association. When I was learning vocab, I would write it all down on a piece of paper in the morning and then in the evening, I would cite back those words in my head whilst I was brushing my teeth. I would do this same set of words for one week, citing them every time I brush my teeth before going to bed, and then the next week I would do it again with a different set of words and a different action, for example, citing them whilst I'm in the shower. That way, I'm associating a certain set of words with a particular action, creating a mental connection for myself. Essentially, learning vocab in groups is really important, but those groups have to have a pattern. They can't be random. So learn all words associated with food together, for example, or when you're learning verbs, don't just learn any verbs, learn action verbs together. Again, you're learning by association because one word is likely to be related to the other and to the other and to the other. And this will make it easier to retain in the long run. Now let's have a look at motivation more specifically. Motivation is the number one thing most people struggle with when it comes to language learning. The key is to incorporate your learning practices into your everyday routine and to do activities that you genuinely enjoy without necessarily having a goal at the end of it. For example, having a French podcast on in the background whilst you're doing a chore, you're not necessarily testing yourself or devoting your attention 100% to the podcast, but the very fact that your brain is still half tuned in means you'll be familiarising yourself subconsciously with things like the accent, the flow, the intonation, the pace, all things that are essential to language learning. This way you're still benefiting and learning, but you're not forcing yourself to do something that's too tiresome, monotonous, boring, tricky, which in the long run will just make you lose perseverance. So here are some of my best practices to keep motivated whilst you're learning. Firstly, when it comes to improving your reading, try reading children's books. If you're still at beginner level, this is a great way to immerse yourself in the language without it being too overwhelming or difficult. You'll see examples of different tenses, verbs in action, written speech, and you have images and illustrations to help you understand the context. 
Secondly, along the same lines, watch children's TV or cartoons in French. Again, the storylines won't be too complex, they'll use simple language and it won't be too fast paced. You're less likely to lose interest in this way and hence motivation. And finally, set yourself realistic and achievable goals. Different language learning activities will all have different goals. And if you do too many of one type of activity and not enough of the other, this will significantly impact your motivation. Make a list for yourself. What do you want to achieve in the long and short term? Your short term goals might include memorising a list of vocabulary or understanding a grammatical concept. Your long term goals might include getting a pen pal or understanding a programme with no subtitles. What can you do to work towards those goals? And how can you cater your learning activities towards them? Additionally, make sure you're setting a reward for yourself as this is a key concept of motivation. Make the goals realistic. The easier they are to achieve, the more motivated you're gonna feel to keep pushing on. If you haven't achieved your goal for that week or that particular activity, reflect on why. Either adjust your goal or the steps that you'll take to meet that goal for next time. So let me know if you found these tips useful. And feel free to comment down below any tips or tricks that you've had to keep you motivated in your language learning journey. And don't forget, if you're into learning in a fun, engaging environment, Rosetta Stone has everything you need to take that next step in your French language learning journey. Expand your French skills and boost your confidence with bite-sized immersive lessons that prepare you for real life conversations. You'll even get immediate in-app feedback on your pronunciation with true accent, which is built into every lesson. Go to www.rosettastone.com to sign up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. A plus!